it's worth thinking too about what we want our vision to be. You know, who are we in Scotland? Where have we come from? Who do we want to be? What is our vision for the future? And how can we prepare our learners uh, for the visions that we might have? And I really like this vision, which is uh, one which came from a, a working group in 2012 that uh, underpinned most of the work on learning for sustainability in Scotland. So our vision of a flourishing Scotland, it's sustainable, uh, it's socially just, and this is just the norm. And it's a learning that's rooted in our community. It's rooted in our sense of place, in our environment, in our culture, in where we come from, um, and also rooted in our sense of belonging, uh, not just locally, but globally to a community. And so the sort of learning where uh, learners understand significance of what they're doing and their choices uh, for the future. And so what does this mean? Well, uh, next slide, Julie. This means uh, that it's some the, a sort of learning that applies to us all. It's not just something that happens in school, it's in our communities, it's in our colleges, in our universities. It's uh, the idea of building a learning for sustainability nation where we're doing things locally uh, and thinking about global connections. OK, so uh, next slide, Julie, this is uh, something that means responding to learning uh, needs which respond to how the world is at the moment. It begins uh, with how things are in our communities, but it means skills which enable us to uh, understand interdependence, complexity, and uh, give us the ability to deal with the sorts of moral, ethical and the complex issues that there are in the world at, at the minute. Um, and also to take action uh, on these issues. So learning for sustainability is, is about uh, responding to the future by uh, supporting learners with, with the skills, the values, the knowledges that are going to be uh, useful in, in now and into the future too. And if we look at this sort of learning, uh, next slide please, then it's actually rooted in place and it's rooted in uh, connecting with what matters to uh, people what matters uh, in communities. So it's rooted in connecting to the heart and then working uh, to take action on what matters and also unearthing uh, knowledge that and ideas and thoughts that are going to help in terms of taking action. So essentially, this sort of learning is about uh, hearts first, but then taking action, uh, the hand and knowing, ways of knowing and reflecting and learning once action has been taken. What sort of issues though are we talking about? Well, uh, if we look at the next slide, uh, you may have come across these 17 sustainable UN sustainable development goals, global goals that have been signed up to across the world, but they're goals for Scotland too. And Scotland has signed up to these goals. Um, they're interconnected goals. They These are issues uh, that I wouldn't mind betting that if you ask uh, your learners, your community, uh, young people and uh, adults to uh, identify 
what their concerns are that they would link in with these global goals about poverty, about climate change, about the the big things, but also the local things uh, about livelihoods. And in Scotland, then, in responding to uh, these issues, we uh, call this learning for sustainability. It's not a particular, uh, it's not rooted in one subject, it's area, it's not just environment, it connects everything. It's an ethos, it's an approach uh, to life and learning. And it's for learners, educators, schools, and the purpose is to build a socially just, sustainable and equitable society. That's Scotland's definition of learning for sustainability. And if we look at the, uh, the next slide, this is a national approach. It's an entitlement for all learners. Um, it weaves together social, cultural, economic, environmental uh, issues and futures. And uh, across Scotland, it's embedded in education. Um, so it's embedded in self-evaluation in the standards through the curriculum. Um, and there is an, an action plan uh, for it, which is currently being strengthened uh, to include community learning and development and also to respond to uh, the, the call from young people in particular to take action on this, to do something, to make it an entitlement, to make that really real for everybody. Um, so where are the starting points for you? Um, well, if you look at this, this word cloud was developed quite a few years, years ago. And what I like about it is it's a starting point. There are lots of other things that can be added to it, but that most people can find something as a starting point in this word cloud. So what's your starting point? Uh, is it a particular theme in your community that's that's coming through? Um, is it a particular approach? Is it particular uh, skills, competencies that uh, you are trying to address uh, the the need for uh, to solve a problem, uh, the need to think critically about an issue? What is it? The, where, where is your starting point? I hope you can find something in there that connects yourself to learning for sustainability in your context. And in the last slide, um, I just wanted to say that I hope this connects too with things that are priorities wherever you're com coming from. So it certainly connects across government. It's, actually uh, the sustainable development goals underpin Scotland's national performance framework, underpin the national outcomes, um, but also, you know, they they link with Community Empowerment Act, uh, with skills, CLD skills, uh, with developing the young workforce, with all these current agendas, uh, and particularly with the uh, putting learners at the centre with the rights of rights of the child, which is uh, so important uh, and, you know, being strengthened as well in, in Scotland at the minute. So that should be a starting